you gave it all. Did it help when Ty came in overtime to help take a little pressure off you at the overtime to give you a little rest? Of course. Definitely about in the third game, 38 minutes. So, but that's why I got my teammates. Um, you know, it's a team game. It's not just me out there. I had a lot of guys, you know, step up and put us in position to win. And that's how we know we came out with a win. Tyus came in, hit a big time three for us and put us up. And, you know, we finished it out from there. I might go to Matt. Uh, John. What's it been like for you just like the whole bigger picture thing, just seeing, you know, people like Jalen Ramsey, you know, come to Grizzlies games now and, you know, all the support and jam pack FedEx form today and the season over. Just what it's been like just seeing, I mean, more celebrities here and, you know, basically coming to support you and the team. Uh, it's crazy, man. You know, coming from our, you know, rookie year to now, um, you can tell the difference and uh, I feel like, you know, we earned that and, uh, I feel like, you know, a lot of people like, you know, watching us play, um, you know, just how we get up and down the court and, you know, how exciting it is. So, uh, we appreciate all the support. Appreciate uh, Jalen for coming out, you know, showing us love. You know, he's in season as well. So, uh, for him to take the time out and come, you know, support us, you know, open the night is big time. And, you know, we thank for our fans as well for, you know, packing the gym and, you know, giving us that energy we needed to, you know, get this win. Ja, how much do you – relish these big moments, opening night, nationally televised game, fourth quarter, OT, your team needs it the most. It just seems like it brings a little extra out of you. What do you say about that? You know, I love it. You know, I love the pressure. You know, I want to be the one, you know, making the, you know, play to, you know, put us in positions to win. Um, so anytime, you know, that time come, you know, it's time for me to, you know, take my game to, you know, another level. And, you know, honestly, to start this game, I was already ready to go because I've seen some stuff that had me pumped to go. So shout out to the you know Nick social media team. So uh, on that the block in overtime, it was very similar to the Lakers block uh, a year ago. Like Taylor said, he's never seen anything like that. How, he didn't describe it as altitude. How would you describe <laughs> sort of God, what what happens uh, when when you're able to do that? And are you intentionally trying to grab the ball on the, on the way down like that? Um, for sure. Um, you know, we just describe it as winning plays. You know, I basically came out of the corner. You know, uh, Coach Preach, you know, transition defense for us. You know, not stand and watch, get back, you know, on a shot or, you know, a turnover. And you know, I just turned on the jet. Um, pretty much, you know, he slowed down. And, you know, me going up to, you know, block the shot. I'm also, you know, trying to make sure, you know, we have control and have possession of the ball as well. Um, so thankfully, you know, I had, you know, Two guys come back, GD come in, you know, get that rebound for us. And it's Grizzlies basketball. You know, we take it on the other end and, you know, get a lob dunk from BC. Um, it's pretty much, you know, perfect for us. Um, we'll see that a lot on film, you know, tomorrow. And that's how we got to play. Ja, that uh, last play of regulation block charge. That's a block for sure. He even told me. That's what was crazy. Tell me I jumped around him, so you know we I wasn't even supposed to play that extra five minutes. Um, but <laughs> no, I can't control that. Um, you know, being a ref is a you know very tough job. Um, he made the call. You know, we had to deal with it, um, turn the page, and you know go out and win in overtime. Job ja, with the game right over here. Sorry, man. I'm it's I'm fried, bro. No, nah, <laughs> it, it's been a minute since you see me too. It's all good. Um, <laughs> um, the way Santi played tonight, just kind of for you guys, you guys have been so high on how he's developed. What do you think this will do for just his growing confidence that he can come in and play a game like this, knowing he's going to have a big role with, with Jaron out? Um, a lot. You know, we preach him to be, you know, aggressive at all times. You know, he's able to shoot the ball well and, you know, with his size and length, um, you know, able to shoot over guys, you know, inside in the paint. So um, we just preach to be aggressive, you know, be ready to shoot at all times. And, you know, he's playing very well for us, on, you know, on both ends of the floor, obviously taking, you know, a tough matchup, you know, tonight and, you know, Randall and helping us, you know, come out with this win, you know, with, with his production for us. Um, we just got to keep it going. Hey, John, you know, I know you're a coach on the floor. Uh, describe the pair of your two rookies, man, uh, Jake and uh, Roddy, and how important their play was tonight. Uh, for me, you know, it's just – instilling, you know, all the confidence in the world for them, you know, tell them, you know, just go out there and play free. You know, obviously they came in and played some big time minutes for us on both ends of the floor and, 
you know, that's what we need from them. Um, we all know what they're capable of. You know, we see them, you know, day in and day out, you know, how they work in the gym and, you know, how they produce in practice. And obviously, you know, it's tough being a rookie and, you know, being thrown in that fire, you know, first game of the season, you're on national TV. Um, but you see those guys was ready. Um, it's a testament to their work and, you know, their character and um, big time play for them.